That right there could potentially be pretty interesting. We did get the uh, vital shot on a legendary Grey Wolf. Who did seem to be on his own. He just pretty much snuck up on me here. I had no idea he was here. Just walking around in my own little world and all of a sudden this bad boy found himself right in front of us. Oh god, he got the derpy, derpy eyes. Is it gonna be a diamond though? Could be my first diamond Grey Wolf in 2.0. It is a diamond. Ooh, just barely made it, I think. 39 point. Ooh, what a shot. Not gonna say that was dumb. I stopped going for the, the next shot on him because I saw the vital blood. Else I would have tried to get a follow-up shot, but I'm not sure that I would have managed it in time before he bled out. But uh, we did get a uh, diamond Grey Wolf. Yay! I actually have an albino gray wolf on my map. The last one I found of these, I forgot to taxidermize. So that is definitely an albino one that we need to go and see if we can uh, snag before she gets away too far. Where did she go? Where are you? Shouldn't have run off that far. Oh, there she is. Oh, she stands out. Now let's not have a legendary in the same pack because that was kind of what happened last time that I ended up shooting both harvested the albino first and then I completely forgot about taxidermizing it and ended up having a legendary on the ground that I could pick up or travel to my lodge to get the oh you're turning around there Think that's gonna go down it is indeed she's dead muscle loader is just so good at this range now nah, so I had to choose either go to the lodge to save this one the albino or I could go and pick up the legendary and of course I decided to pick up the legendary because I thought I'd get albinos quite easy and um, turned out not to be the case this is actually the first albino I see ever since on live servers and the legendary didn't even make diamond back then so yeah turned out that i took a heaps of wrong decisions right there let's just see if we well that's a lot of blood of course we're gonna get vital hit on this one pick it up is there anybody there we can do that look at that my first, well, second albino. My first now taxidermized albino. Right scapula, right lung, liver. That's a dead wolf right there. That thing kind of stands out, doesn't it? Plains bison boy over there. Should be fine to just take a shot from here. He is drinking at about 200 meters out, so let's just... Uh, Get our scope on and see if we can make a, a nice little lung shot. I do have a caribou I need to go and pick up over there. But we should be just... Well, round two. Let's hope we don't get a disconnect from Steam this time. I'm actually gonna just try to get closer as fast as possible. Um, don't really feel like I want to waste my opportunity getting a probably silver scoring albino bison i do have quite a few of these actually oh, there's a caribou in our way should we get on this rock is that gonna work would be better at this rock can i see him i can kind of see him i can't spot him let's try from up here instead then There we go, 170 out. And that should be a long shot. Now let's just run there as fast as we can so we don't end up having a stupid steam disconnect again. I don't need to have three chances of messing this thing up. I know it's not really anything extremely big or something like that and it is on my own map so I knew he would he was gonna be at the exact same spot again but no reason to take any chances now he is down so 
run like I am some kind of Usain Bolt right here. Oh, he ran far. He ran far. Well, let's just pick this bison up. It is an albino. It is a silver. Very, very, very small boy. But um, let's get him into the large with a single long shot right there. Just give me a spot, please. Why do they need to be on top of each other? I don't like this. I have a feeling that one of them could be the legendary one. I don't know, guys. <laughs> oh, had this been the old scoring system, I'd just taken it down with a brain shot from here. But um, that's no longer an option. That is him. Right there, 100 meters away. Why could we not spot that? For the love of God, why would it not let me spot that? <laughs> I was trying so hard. <sighs> God dang it. But, we're about to see if we can smoke this thing with a muscle loader. I just want to make sure that I have the right ammo. We do have the minis. Now all we need from this guy is basically him to turn around. I'm pretty sure we could actually just take him out like this. I actually don't know if the uh, muscle loader has the penetration to take him down like this. Right there. It should be perfect. It should be so easy to hit. I could go a little further back as well and go lung liver. I think I actually want to do that just for the fun. Let's try that instead. Okay, we're bringing out the muscle, put it to 100 and then let's try to send it around that area right there. Hopefully. Ooh. And that is definitely a long shot. He is going down real fast. My first grizzly bear with the muscle loader seems to be an actual thing right now. Oh my god. That is awesome. Did we just get a diamond with the muscle loader right here? Ah, he actually landed pretty good. Let's just go ahead and get a few quick photos. Let's go, guys. Fingers crossed. Is it a diamond grizzly bear? It is a diamond. 642 kilos. 67.3. We need 66.9. And look at the penetration of that muscle loader. God dang. Left lung, liver, stomach, intestine. Wow. No wonder he went down fast. Oh my god. He got completely obliterated. Oh, why can't we shoot bisons with the <laughs> muscle loader? I want it! That guy right there is a 5 medium. I wonder if he's gonna charge us if we do take a shot at him with the muscle loader. No, we can't use the muscle loader. God dang it! We need to get him with the 300 or go for it with the 10 gauge. And honestly, it might make more sense to go for with the 10 gauge. Just because it's new and all. I think what we're going to do here is... I'm going to sneak down. And as soon as he starts running away, I'm pretty sure he's going to run this path. So if we can cut him off like somewhere around halfway there. Um, I think we should be good to take him down with the uh, 10 gauge. It's gonna be a little, little teasing it, I feel like, because I'm definitely, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get close enough to actually take a proper shot with the 10 gauge. Probably gonna get attentive very soon. We are just sneaking closer. 75 meters is a zeroing range for it. I think we could do that. At least we could try. Still calm, about 50 out. Okay, I'm, I'm confident doing this. Ooh, can't see him. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's alert. Oh, and he's turning towards us. He's going to run off, isn't he? He's going to run, isn't he? Oh, he's aggressive. Awesome, awesome. So he's going to come running at us. And then we just need to make this shot count. And that should be a vital. That is vital blood. And he's going down. A level 5 bison taken down with the 10 gauge slug. 
come on. Let's just see here. Is that gonna be a uh, diamond boy? It is indeed 226.5 right lung liver. Oh, we got stomach liver on the first one. So that would have been enough. What an awesome find here on the Yukon Valley.